comes the next question. Question number three. I'll read the question. Forces of 2, 4, 6 and 8 kN respectively acts on a regular pentagon as shown in figure. The figure is given and here we have to find find the resultant find the resultant in magnitude and direction. In magnitude and direction. So this is the first problem which in which we are seeing a regular pentagon. Before that we have not seen such a problem. So now let us see how to solve this question. How to solve this? First of all we will convert this pentagon problem we will convert this pentagon problem into the regular problem which we are solving. Now how to convert that? Just have a look. If I extend this line, if I extend this horizontal line, now, we know that for a regular pentagon, for a regular pentagon, the inclination with respect to horizontal the inclination of this edge with respect to horizontal line it is 72 degrees inclination of the edge with respect to horizontal line now if this is 72 the remaining portion will be 180 degree minus 72 degree which comes out to be 108 degree so if I have 108 degree as the total angle and here we have 1, 2 and 3 angles means 108 divided by 3, 108 divided by 3 that will give me an answer of you can say 36 degree. So each angle theta will be of 36 degree. Here it is 36 degree, here 36 and even in this case it is 36 degree. I can mark the angle. After getting the angles, now I will convert this pentagon problem into the similar concurrent forces problem which we had solved. I will convert it into a force system. The first force, we will take this end of the pentagon or this corner of the pentagon as the origin. Here also I have the origin. 8 kN is acting in the horizontal direction. Here I have 8 kN. 6 kN is inclined at 36 degree. Then you have 4 kilo Newton, 4 kilo Newton that is 36 plus 36, it is at 72 degrees. Then I have another 2 kilo Newton. What is the total angle? 36 plus 36 plus 36, it is 108. So this 2 kilo Newton is inclined at 108 degrees with horizontal. I can show the inclination this total angle is 90 so in that I if I add 18 so here if I can see I have converted the pentagon problem into the concurrent force system problem. The next step would be to resolve all the forces. How to resolve the forces? 8 kN is perfectly horizontal, no need to resolve it. 6 kN is inclined at 36 degree with horizontal. So its horizontal component will be 6 cos 36. Vertical component will be 6 sin 36. 
then here i have 4 kilo newton inclined at 72 degree with horizontal so i'll mark horizontal and vertical component since here we okay we can say that we don't have a place to write the value so i'll write it as fx and fy and then i'll specify what is fx and fy fx i will write it as since 4 kilo newton is inclined with horizontal at 72 so fx will be 4 cos 72 4 cos 72 fy will be 4 sin 72 next 2 kilo newton is inclined with the vertical so horizontal component will be 2 sin yahan pe sin rahega it would not be cos and the vertical component will be 2 cos 18 so here i have marked all the forces so we can easily calculate summation fx summation fy resultant and location of resultant first i'll write down since the sum of all horizontal forces the sum of all horizontal forces are given by summation fx rightward forces positive leftward forces negative therefore summation fx be equal to 8 kilo newton is perfectly horizontal towards right so positive 6 cos 36 towards right so positive then fx fx ka value hai 4 cos 72 towards right so positive 2 sin 18 towards left so negative if i calculate all terms carefully i will get my answer of summation fx Which, which in this case I have already calculated, my FX answer comes out to be thirteen point four seven newton. Positive, so towards right. Then I will go for the calculation of sum of all vertical forces. After getting answer number one, after getting summation FX, I will write down similarly. sum of all vertical forces are given by summation fy upward forces positive and downward forces negative therefore summation fy is equal to Here I have six sine thirty six upward, so positive six sine thirty six. Then F Y F Y is upward value is four sine seventy two upward. That's why positive. Next. Two cos eighteen upward, so positive. Therefore, if I calculate all terms carefully, if I calculate these values, I'll have my summation F Y as nine point two three newton. Since the answer is positive, it will be acting upward. once i have summation fx once i have summation fy i can go for the calculation of resultant since resultant is given by r is equal to square root of summation fx square Plus summation f y square. Therefore, capital R will be equal to 
summation effects the value was 13.47 newton summation fy 9.23 newton if i calculate this square root i will have my answer of resultant as 16.33 newton that is my first answer once we have calculated the resultant we can go for the calculation of location of resultant so i'll say that since location of resultant is given by theta is equal to tan inverse summation fy upon summation fx therefore theta is equal to tan inverse summation fy 9.23 summation fx 13.47 if i calculate tan inverse of summation fy that is 9.823 divided by 13.47 my answer of theta comes out to be 34.41 degree with respect to horizontal so now i can show the direction of resultant once we have got the value of theta since i have summation fx as positive summation fy is positive so it the resultant will be in the first quadrant inclined at 34.41 degree and here i have shown the location of resultant with this we have completed the problem